These are My Little Pony Equestria Girls and the newest addition to our collection. We found most of these at Toys R Us for $12.99 to $19.99 to $29.99. And we found this version of Fluttershy on Amazon. These dolls are recommended for ages 5 and up. The story behind these dolls comes from the new My Little Pony Equestria Girls movie where Twilight Sparkle goes through a portal to another dimension where she is transformed from a pony to a girl. In this new dimension, she meets characters that are similar to her friends back home. The back of the box tells you a little about her style and shows the other characters in the collection. The basic dolls that cost us $12.99 come with a club card, collector stickers, a small catalog, and a hairbrush. They also come with a fun accessory like a headband, hat, sunglasses, and wings that snap on in the back. They come with a painted top, a velcro skirt, they have an extra long strand of hair that reminds you of the pony's tail, they can move at the hip and shoulder, their head can turn from side to side, and they have pegged feet much like a brat's. This version of Rainbow Dash comes with hair that can be clipped on. There is also hair clips, wings, a catalog, a club card, and a hairbrush. Her hair is extra long. The hair is very soft, but with this texture I can foresee a little bit of tangling. Her whole outfit can be removed, and she has a pair of short red boots. This version of Fluttershy comes with an additional outfit, along with boots, earrings, wings, a purse, a hairbrush, and a hair clip. She also has a flower bracelet. The earrings slide on to the sides of her ears. She has a nice and smooth hair quality. Her outfit can be removed as well. And she has additional articulation in her knees and elbow. In the Sunset Shimmer and Twilight Sparkle combo pack, you get to see the movie's rivals side by side. They also come with bags, earrings, and the tiara. Twilight has her wings, and Sunset Shimmer has a two-toned look. We love how some of the dolls can be balanced to stand on their own, and we think My Little Pony's Equestria Girls is a fantastic idea, giving a whole new look to a much-loved toy. And that's our collection for now. Happy collecting! I am going to make a Rainbow Dash inspired doll using a Monster High Abbey Abominable, a push pen, an X-Acto knife, sewing needles, nail polish remover, chalk pastels, Q-tips, a pack of mini hair clip extensions, and Mod Podge. On the internet there are several websites that show you how to make a hair rerouting tool. Using an X-Acto knife carefully remove the blade. Adult supervision is highly recommended. Insert the sharp end of a sewing needle into the X-Acto knife. Tighten it. Using wire cutters, I cut off the part that has the eye at an angle. And now I have my tool. And if you find that your needle is a little long, it might be kind of difficult to use. So I just cut down the side that has the point a little. Then I just put it back in and tighten it. And I'm using these oven mitts from Ikea. They are fantastic for helping you get a good grip. Take a few strands of the colored hair Find the center, make a part, use a push pin to plan where you want the hair to be, place the hair over the hole, then use the tool to push the hair into the hole.
I continue adding the colored highlights until the hair has a rainbow color. And if I want to remove the doll's original hair color, use scissors to remove the hair, carefully remove the head, then use tweezers to carefully remove the remaining bits of hair. After it's completely cleaned off, insert the hair through the holes just as before. I braid the doll's hair, I wrap the ends with a piece of tissue paper, wrap the end with a roller. Next I'm going to pour hot water over her hair to give it some shape. Adult supervision is highly recommended. In fact, you may want to ask an adult to do this part for you. Pat off the excess water with a towel, then allow it to dry overnight. Now that the hair is dry, I'm going to remove the roller, undo the braid, give the ends a little trim, and the hair rerouting process is done. I use fingernail polish remover to remove her lipstick, and I'm going to change the Q-tips frequently so that I don't smear it onto her skin. I roll a clean Q-tip between my fingers to make a point. I rub a little bit of chalk pastel, then gently brush her lips to give them a little bit of color. Seal in the color with a little bit of Mod Podge. I begin making sneakers from our How to Make Doll Shoes sneakers video. We borrowed an outfit from the Disney VIP doll Cece from Shake It Up. Lace up her shoes and you're done. Happy crafting! It is your time to shine. Submit your original doll photos on Facebook or play GPS Dad for a chance to be in one of our videos because you're so fabsome. Dash. No, I'm Rainbow Dash. Move. I am the Rainbow Dash. You are not Rainbow Dash. I am. Yes, I am the Rainbow Dash. You're both wrong because I'm Rainbow Dash. No, you're not. Yes, I am. 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 Look at me. I have the rainbow hair. What does that prove? We all have rainbow hair. Awkward. We want to give a shout out to Isabella Mimi. What's up? I better get out of here, cause that looks contagious. Wings. I don't have wings, and I'm Rainbow Dash. I play soccer better than anybody else. What does that have to do with anything? You trust me. I'm Rainbow Dash.